Thank you.
that thing that keeps me grounded. And for a lot of us, 2020 has been the craziest year that any of us have ever seen. Bars are closed, no live music, you can't go to a concert. And I kept thinking to myself, someone's got to do something about it. So we did. Fear and love. And this is Garage Bands Live. I'm Kenzie Coyne from Hello Luna. And this is Garage Bands Live. I'm Tom Klein from Noise Agent. Hey, it's Faye. Hi, I'm Tucker. We are the 40. I'm Vito with Brave the Scene. This is Garage Bands Live. And this is Garage Bands Live. Garage Bands Live! Garage Bands Live! Hey, Adam, Adam, <laughs> Adam, it's okay, we've got this figured out, Big Ben's, thank you, thank you for that heads up, you know, there's so many moving parts in here that sometimes, sometimes someone forgets to press the button, <laughs> as I was saying, Welcome back to Garage Bands Live. Uh, what a beautiful week we've had as far as weather, dude. I'm wearing a tank top, as you can see. It was like 85 degrees today. Are, is everyone getting their pools ready? Like, I hope you're getting your pool together. Yep, Carson just looked at me like, yeah, Dad, get it together, Dad. I'll tell you one thing. Um, my favorite part of the year is when you can just walk around with no shirt, right? Get some sun, get that vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Flip flops, maybe you're going to the beach. I hope, I hope that more of us can do that this year as uh, things starting to loosen up. And I'm really excited for the summer ahead and I hope you guys are too. And on that note, I kind of feel bad for our guest tonight because you know it's really not that hot on the garage side, but it's a little warm. So every, every dollar that we earn from now until we acquire, we're going to put towards some air conditioning on the other side. <laughs> uh, and with that, with that, and without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to tonight's special guest, Mike Ratcliffe. Mike, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You look like you're ready to play. I, I am. I um, feel so bad. You're like, you got your long sleeve t-shirt and your pants on over there. Man, it probably feels like a sauna. It, it, it actually feels pretty nice in here. Um, Thanks. I've been super stoked uh, for this. Um, I've been, I've been uh, posting the hell out of it, um, trying to get uh, people to tune in. And, and they, people who've seen my, uh, my homemade uh, live streams, uh, I just wanted them to tune into this and see, uh, see how the professionals do it. So, uh, uh, hopefully, You're hopefully making me will. blush. Stop it. So, for those who don't know who you are, Mike, why don't you like give us a, a quick synapse of who you are, where you come from, and what kind of music you play? Uh, okay, uh, my name is Mike Ratliff. Um, you can find me online most platforms um, at Mike Ratliff Music. Uh, my email is Mike Ratliff Music at Yahoo. Um, you know, so pretty much anywhere on the internet, you can type in Mike Ratliff Music, and you should find me. I'm a singer songwriter. Uh, most of the songs, I, I, most of the songs I'll play tonight, I wrote myself um, in the last few years. Uh, I live in Morgan County, um, Malta, Ohio. Actually, it's, I, I live on the Malta side, but it's actually I have a McConnellsville address, but we call it Moco uh, down there, Moco. so so it sounds you know fancy. <laughs> yeah. 
I tell people I'm from Moco. I'm I'm, I'm from Moco. I live right right on the river, man. Um, I know y'all have the lake right here, but uh, there's something something about my river, man. I I really love. Um, I, I go fishing in my front yard. Uh, oh man, that sounds nice. A couple years ago, I caught a sixty pound catfish off of my bank. Like, get out of here! Really? Yeah. Sixty pound catfish, dude. I get I get nervous if I catch a one pound catfish. I held it to my chest and the they tail was you. on the on the ground. Oh my gosh! You ever done the um, you know where they do like they go fishing with for catfish? What do they call that? Noodling. Noodling. I yeah. Have not, with your hands. No. no, I'm a guitar player, man. You can get turtles and and muskrats doing that, and I need all my fingers. <laughs> I feel you. So I want to talk. Ha hang on one sec. There used to be this guy in Nelsonville. I lived. Uh, he tried to get me to go uh, to turtle hunting. It's essentially the same thing. You crawl down the riverbank and you put your hands under there and you feel for turtles. Oh my gosh! And, no and I would walk by and he would wave like this. Uh, <laughs> and and he was missing that finger. And I, from then on, I would never do it. I I would not be interested in that. I'm I'm <laughs> I have kind of a fear of murky water. So like if I can't see into the water, it makes me a little skittish. Especially knowing there's creatures down there that will, uh, you know, attempt to eat my hand, and then I have to pull that above water. I'm just no thanks, not not for me. But uh, let's talk about uh, you showed up with your own microphones. Yes, sometimes I did. musicians come and they have their own microphones, which is cool. But yours were special, and I want to talk about why because I think this is really wild. Um, well, they, they're uh, they're Neumann microphones. Okay. Uh, they are condenser microphones and. Um, they, they don't really give me any more volume so much. It's it's really what what I gain is in clarity and and I can it'll pick up all the subtle notes like I can I can bang on the guitar and it don't sound bad or I can I can barely play it and it, you still get you you get all the dynamics and it, it's just crystal clear. Um, uh, they they were well worth the the, the money it, that you pay for them. Um, I'm, I'm not advertising for Neumann, but uh, um, if they would <laughs> if send me listening. some free stuff, uh, I, I would I would love it. Um, so the the one above, right, is a wider pickup, right? But then the the one below, th this one is it's a it's a little more suited for vocals. Um, okay. It's a, it's a TLM or it's a, this is a yeah TLM 102, and this is a KM 184 down here that that that. It really picks up instruments. It's it's more more directional than than the top one, which means it, it's not a, it doesn't have as like this one comes out this way and, and picks up, and this one just pretty much comes straight out. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. <laughs> Dang, that's a nice little uh, nice little intro to your microphones. That's pretty cool. I love I love the I love learning the tech side of of the audio side of this stuff because that's really not my forte, right? My forte is the video stuff and all this, you know, computer stuff. But uh, Eric's kind of been teaching me the ins and outs of the audio because is it next week, Eric? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he says, mm-hmm. So next week, Eric's traveling to go watch Billy Strings oh, nice. in Tennessee. And uh, it will be up to me to... <laughs> to run the audio for the shows next week. And, and we, have, uh, we, have, we have a metal band and, and artifacts. It's Icon of Era and artifacts. So that's gonna, be, that's gonna be really interesting. Definitely make sure you don't miss that one. That's gonna be funny. I'm kinda jealous uh, he's going to see Billy String, so. Hey, maybe he's got room, he can take you with him. Pack, I, him, pack I you in a suitcase. I have some friends already watching um, the, uh, my, my grandson, uh, my, my son's watching with my grandson tonight. His name's Oki. Um, and his his grandma it, um, Molly Ansel was watching as well. I just wanted to uh, take a second and say hi to you guys. Uh, nice shout out. Awesome. Well, hey, let's uh, get. Uh, I love I love having you here, Mike. I'm really glad to have you in the studio tonight. Uh, it's an honor to be able to host you this evening. It's and my uh, I hope you guys at home are super excited to kick back and kind of relax. Like Mike's gonna have a nice relaxing vibe for you tonight. Uh, super good musician. I hope you guys stick around and uh, definitely support Mike on all his social media. You'll get to know how to do that here in just a second with Adam. 
And uh, don't forget, guys, we do this show out of the kindness of our hearts for the love of music, and we just want to keep this thing going. Now, we've got a lot of cool things coming up in the works. Uh, we have a show coming up that will be done at Legend Valley um, with, who are we? Bear Fuzz, right? At Legend Valley. And then at King of Clubs, June 4th, we'll be streaming at uh, uh, King of Clubs with North to Nashville. And that's going to be really, really fun and exciting. I hope you guys can uh, mark the calendar and look forward to that. So without any further ado, I'm going to give this over to Adam, and we're going to get the show started for you guys right away. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, okay? Adam, it's all you, boss. Make sure your audio's on. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I did everything backwards today, okay? <laughs> I, my button configuration was not on par. Um, You guys over there to him, so you can see him over there. Um, all right, how are you guys doing? I'm going to try and make this real quick so we can get to the music. Um, this is a Twitch thing only. Um, the uh, the lights, you can control them um, in the chat. Like I said, it's only through Twitch. You do that by using your channel points. Uh, you earn channel points by watching, so the more you watch, the more you earn. Um, sorry, i got to take these off. Um, if you look down on the bottom left-hand corner of your chat, you'll see a little, little uh, guitar pick. That represents your channel points. Um, and you can use those channel points to then change the color scheme, so all the colors of the lights. You can change the pattern of the lights, like the gobos. Um, and you can also actuate the smoke machine. Um, make sure you guys, I'll be putting all these links in all the other chats as well. Um, Make sure you guys follow Mike. Uh, he, we got his Facebook, his Instagram, and TikTok as well. And make sure you guys follow us. Uh, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all Garage Bands Live. And I think Mike is uh, Mike Ratliff Music on all platforms. Um, if you are on Twitch, um, you have the ability to sub. Subbing directly supports us. Uh, it's a, there's three different tiers. Uh, there's a five, ten, and a twenty-five dollar tier. Um, that uh, that will also get you a little badge by your name, and it will also get you emotes and and some other perks that we don't have just yet. But uh, some uh, cool things there with the uh, subbing. Uh, other than that, like Chase was saying, we do do this on our own time and our own dime, and we love what we do and want we want to keep doing it and increasing the quality as we go. Um, so, uh, and we do split tips with the artist. So if you want to tip, I'll be putting that link in the uh, Facebook chat as well. Um, we do it through Streamlabs that uses PayPal. We also have Cash App or Venmo, and that uses uh, the, the tag GarageBands Live. Um, I think other than that, ready for some music. Ready? Yep. All right. Do you? Hey. How's it going, everybody? Uh, just want to say hi to some of the uh, some of the folks that's watching: Brandon Middleton, uh, Brian Wilkie, uh, the 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 fine folks at Smoke and Vega are watching. Um, thank you all for tuning in, man. Um, and uh, Molly Ansel said I looked handsome. I, she made my face red. But so uh, most of the songs we're going to play tonight are are going to be uh, songs that I wrote. But the first song and the last two um, are not. Uh, this first song was uh, one of the first songs I ever really learned how to play on guitar, and it's one of my all-time favorite songs. It's a it's a Jerry Jeff Walker song. Uh, it's a, it's about a man who uh, who was down on his luck, and uh, he kind of he was a bum. And he he bounced around, uh, drinking and, and and being in jail. And, but uh, it's called Mr. Bojangles. shoes, the 
silver hair, the ragged shirt and baggy pants The old soft shoe It jumps so high, it jumps so high and Then it lightly touched down Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, won't you dance? I met him in a cell in New Orleans, I was down and out. He looked to me to be the eyes of age as he spoke right out he talked of life he talked of life laughed and slapped his legs stale Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Said the name Bojangles and he danced a lick. Across the cell, he grabbed his pants for a better stance and he jumped so high. And he clicked up his heels. He let go alive. He let go alive. Shook back his clothes all around. Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, won't you dance? Well, he danced for those at minstrel shows and county fairs. Throughout the South, he spoke with tears of 15 years how his dog and him traveled about the dog up and died he up and he died and after 20 years he still breathes Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Said now I dance now at every chance and honky tonks for drinks and tips, but most of the time I spend behind these county bars. Cause I drink a bit. He shook his head, and as he shook his head, I heard someone.
Well, thank you guys. I've been trying to, uh, I've been trying to keep up with the speed while I was singing there, and uh, it's moving a little too fast. I mean, uh, it's good. Uh, the more you guys comment, um, the, the the more the uh, what's that called the uh, the algorithm will uh, put us into circulation. So uh, keep them comments coming, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jim Watson at the bar. How you doing uh, down at the barn? Um, the, the barn is a uh, is a supporter of local musicians, man. I'll, every time I get a chance, I give the sh give a shout out to the barn. Um, there's some pretty good folks there. So, uh, like I said, I'm a songwriter, um, and the next song I'm going to play for you is called Soul Bread, and uh, I wrote this, oh, there it is, I lost my capo, I clipped it on the, the music stand there, and it's, it's dark colored, so I couldn't see it, but uh, every, I know everybody gets the feeling like uh, uh, they're alone, and and they just need uh, they need somebody to talk to, somebody to uh, to cheer them up. And uh, I call that bread for the soul when somebody comes along and and, and says just the right thing and um, and pulls you out of that funk, you know, uh, tells a joke at the right time or or, or says a, a inappropriate remark and, and it just like at a funeral, you know, somebody says says an inappropriate remark and it just makes you bust out laughing in the middle of a funeral. Um, Those. <laughs> Those are, that, that's soul bread to me. This, this is, here it is. Well, my confidence is broken, now I'm mumbling. My bridge over troubled waters crumbling. Safety line untied, it seems, from either end. I could probably make it across if I choose to swim. Then again, why? Then again, why? And I've been to the edge of hell, and now I'm back again. In a world of bad news, I am. Reason for these blues I am pondering. And my patience, like my shoes, they are wearing thin. Don't know why. Don't know why. I need some bread for my soul. Recharge my faith and pay my toll before my sins wash me away. need a friend to lean upon to take my weight and help me run for the gate is locked and they push me away push me away Every corner I go around just leads around the bend. Guess I'll sink into my hole if you will fill it in. Just don't ask why. Don't ask why. Every step I take forward is against the wind. My daddy fought for all he's got, but now. When life is taken from this earth, another will begin. And a mother will protect her child with everything. No reason why, no reason why. I need some bread for my soul. Recharge my faith and pay my toll before my sins. Wash me away, wash me away. I need a friend to lean upon, take my weight and help me run. 
for the gate is locked and you push me away, push me away. I need some bread for my soul, recharge my faith and pay my toll for my sins. Wash me away, wash me away. I need a friend to lean upon to take my weight and help me run. soul bread there for you guys so uh let me see here uh thank you uh what's it say aid uh I, I, aid aid or aim thank you i'm sorry that uh, my eyes are blurry and i can't hardly see but uh uh loom looming a thing in a bot <laughs> i like that <laughs> uh, he says uh change the lights to joker please so uh, I told y'all when, when I started uh, when I started this uh, thing out here that uh, I was uh, I lived down I lived down on the Muskingum River and in the springtime down on the river uh, the creeks back up and the, the, well the river backs up into the creek and the creeks rise up out of the banks and they wind up uh, spilling over into the uh, the hay fields and stuff down there. And uh, it'll get four or five feet deep in the middle of a field. Uh, and when that happens, the carp, uh, big, I mean, big carp, like this big, they, they swim up into the field and they eat all the beetles and stuff that's in the, in the, uh, in the grass. And then the water recedes and, and they, the fish don't know it. And they, they'll get stuck there in the, in the fields. So, and then when it gets down low enough, you can see their fins sticking out the, at the top of the, out the top of the water and you just you'll drive by and you'll see this and it's a big here's a 20 pound carp in the in that field and uh you, you know uh we we judge uh, when to put the docks in when when uh when the water goes out of the fields and you know that's about to happen when you see them fish uh fins start sticking up and then and then all of a sudden uh buzzards and coyotes uh they'll they'll surround the field man and they'll just be sitting there waiting on a, a we call it the the golden corral for the uh, for the buzzards and uh, but anyway uh, I thought that was a um, I thought it was pretty cool first time I've seen that I was down there and I was like wow there's there's coyotes and buzzards just standing out in the middle of nowhere and and then I realized that they were there waiting on checking to see if the water had gone down enough where they could just walk out and and uh, get the fish um, you know just served up to them it's not I, I suppose for uh, uh, I suppose for a, an animal, you know, to have a, just have a meal served up like that is pretty uncommon. Um, I need to, I need to do something real quick here. Let me switch that over. So, uh, I got a couple of these that are on the wrong side of my book here. I apologize, folks. I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, um, this song's called Mid Ohio Valley in Spring. And it's about just that. Uh, I th thanks, everybody, for tuning in, man. I, I, I see these comments just flying by. Um, that makes me so happy to know that y'all are, are, uh, are out there watching me. Um, uh, here it is, uh, the Mid-Ohio Valley, uh, Mid Valley in spring. Let's try to slow it down. Slow it down, buddy. <laughs> where I was at there. I'll just start that over. Let's just, if y'all, uh, just pretend that didn't happen. If you, if you would, just, 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 that didn't happen. You guys are dreaming. You guys are dreaming. 
the Mid-Ohio Valley in spring. The river's up. What am I doing? One more time. If I don't get it this time, I'll keep going, I promise. The river's up this time of year. There we go. And the fish are swimming close to the bank. They're getting caught in the overflow. And the buzzards are all giving thanks. It's greener now than a week ago. And the grass is getting tall enough. It's the Mid-Ohio Valley in spring There's not a more beautiful thing With the blooms out on the trees And the songbirds sing It's to the Mid-Ohio Valley spring The little boys are stringing up their fishing poles And they're bare dads to take him to the fishing hole. Well, the father smiles and is much obliged to take that little fella for a ride. But in the countryside, they had to stop to listen for the mushrooms to pop. Mama cat is shaking off the frost. Blue girl found a bone that she thought she'd lost. The kittens are all chasing around the bird to leave on the doorstep in the morn. Show off the skills that they don't. Docks are in the days of summer again. Grandpa sitting in his easy chair, wishing he was fishing again. But it's far too hot to do anything but dream. I made it through that one. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, I forgot to mention when I was when I was introducing the song there that we have cats and uh, well, I, I live right next door to a trailer park, and um, so the trailer park has cats, which means I have cats, and uh. The, the, the kittens, uh, they, they chase around birds, and, and when they catch one, uh, they play with it for a while, and then it ends up dead on my doorstep. Uh, and they, they, they're looking at me all proud, like, look what I did, you know? Uh, so. I'm going to play you guys a little bit of a, a blues tune right now. Um, it's called Heaven Only Knows. These... Uh, I think it's time to clean the harmonicas because the reeds are sticking. Sorry about the uh, the slap in my knee in the microphone there. Okay, Heaven Only Knows is the name of this song. And uh, there's a line in this song, uh, a friend of mine from Florida, uh, I don't know if he's, he said he, he didn't know if he's going to watch today, but he said he might catch it tomorrow. Um, he... Uh, he wrote this uh, little, he called it a poem, um, and it was only just two lines. Uh, it was, they tried to put me in the ground, 
but they didn't know I was a seed. And I thought that was an awesome line for a song. So I, I put that line, I put that line in my song here. Um. Yeehaw! Is it the end of days or the end of mine? The black train's rolling in, it's right on time. Gonna take me for a ride. Let's take the hand of the devil or the voice of God. And you can bet my mama didn't spare no rod. So the good Lord gives me the nod. He said, uh, keep on moving, boy. And the bones are piling up in bushels and bags. And I reckon rightly so. My clothes are looking more like tatters and rags And I don't know which way to go Yeah, I'm lost It's a privilege waking up in the morning Will the devil let me do it? Heaven only knows I say heaven only knows Yeehaw! Nobody sell you no magic beans Cause if you plant in the garden They'll grow up weeds Just another foolish dream He's a damn fool boy I don't waste my time and wonder why the world goes round Don't care if they try to put me in the ground Cause I know I am a seed Well the banks of the river are muddy and steep So you better take it slow don't go climbing no steaming heap or go against the flow. Don't swim upstream now. Uh -uh. You ain't no salmon. It's a privilege waking up in the morning. Will the devil let me do it? Heaven only knows. I say heaven only knows. trip and fall if it wasn't a sin i'd end it all I'm getting real tired of holding up this wall win lose or draw i said win lose or draw oh yeah my feet are real sore from these worn out shoes and that's plenty good reason to sing the blues and sing forever oh yeah i'm gonna sing forever I hear the gates of heaven are pearly and gold And I think I want to go I hope I don't die before I get old But I'm going with the flow Yeah, whatever happens, happens It's a privilege waking up in the morning Will the devil let me do it? Heaven only knows I say heaven only knows Heaven only knows I about lost a harmonica on that. I didn't have it all the way clipped in. Yeah, so that's the kind of stuff that happens, you know. So, uh, let me see here. Lumen a thing in a bob, changing the lights to more smoke, please. Uh, drizzle outside with this stream, just need a fire. I, you know, there would be nothing better than sitting around a campfire drinking a beer right now. I'm with you on that. Let's see. Uh, is, it, is it Mike and Mad? Just tip ten dollars. Thank you very much. I sure do appreciate that. Um, I uh, 
I know this. That's how this uh, this show here continues to operate and get better. And um, I, honestly, um, I did these live streams uh, all through COVID, and and honestly, that's kind of how I paid my bills was uh, was good folks sending tips. So uh, if you got it to spare, man, uh, uh, please uh, send us send us a tip, man. We 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 really appreciate it. And uh, I think uh, Chase was saying that. Uh, they're going to use their tips to put an air conditioner in, and I'm starting to sweat here, so um, it sure would be nice uh, for the next guy if you guys if you guys tipped uh, a couple grand to uh, <laughs> to buy these folks an air conditioner. <laughs> so uh, I hired a harmonica player, man. He's not very good, but he comes every time I show. He every time I, every gig I'm at, he shows up. So um, so I, I just kept him along, you know. Gotta make sure that I, that he gets his harmonica clipped in right, though. Um, th this next song I'm gonna play. Uh, let me tell you, uh, it's called "Lulu Girl" and it's a song about a dog. Um, let, let me tell you a little backstory. Um, Lulu is a beagle, and um, my son got her got her uh, when he was 16. Him and his girlfriend um, thought, you know, they was gonna last forever, so they'd get a dog together. Well, long story short, the dog ended up with him. He got custody of the dog in the split, in the breakup, and, <laughs> um, and she never did pay child support. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so uh, when he moved in with me, um, or when he moved out of my house, rather, um, the he, he moved into a place where he couldn't really have a dog. So the dog stayed with me, and. Um, and he he was he was going out running around with his friends, you know. He was he was eighteen, uh, just having a good time in life. And he would leave the dog there um, with me while he was out. And one day I was in my basement and I was trying to record some music. And I had the little puppy and she was just a little thing. Um, and she was sitting at my feet and she kept whining. And it was bleeding into my microphones. And and finally I just I just stopped. And well, I wish I would have. Uh, I wish I would have kept the microphone going because she was sitting down there and I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, she, I know she wanted Logan. Uh, she missed him really bad and she was whining and whining. So I, I just looked down at her, you know, and I, I said, Lou, you know, I can't, I can't do anything for you. And I started playing this little. That little riff right there on my guitar. And I played it over and over again. And finally, I, I noticed she wasn't whining anymore. And I looked down, and she was laying across my foot, sound asleep. And so I thought, uh, I better learn the words to this song that I'm writing. And uh, so that's, that's how the song came about. And it's called Lulu Girl. <laughs> Stare outside, see what's going on. It's the same old thing to you. You are charm. Beg to be seen. But you settle for being hurt. He can calm your spirit with just a single word. But I can do nothing for you, Lulu girl. No, I can do nothing for you, Lulu girl.
master's gone and you're stuck here with me tonight you don't have a very good sense of time you'll be there when the door swings open You'll be there with your heart wide open I wish I could silence the demons Inside your heart But I haven't got a clue In hell where to start No, I can do nothing for you, Lulu girl. And I can do nothing for you, Lulu girl. I wish I could take you to a field where you can run. Chase them rabbits around all day, Lou girl. Wouldn't that be fun? And later on at home, well, we'll play with your new chew toy. God, Lou, turn me back into a little boy. And I can do nothing for you, Lulu girl. request here uh i don't i don't normally do requests but uh let me uh let me see uh let me see here something here i might i might be able to pull you off one here uh, let's see i know it's going to be the cheesiest song of um well the, i can't say cheesy because it was a great song but uh what I, what i mean to say is uh the the most uh, the most covered song on earth I think uh, let's see here All right, I got I got a request for Johnny Cash um, or Dylan or Merle Haggard and um, I can't remember if, if Merle Haggard did. Uh, uh, Turn Me Loose, Set Me Free, somewhere in the middle of Montana. If he did that one, I, I could do that one too. But, uh, so um, I'm going to make an exception here and, and actually do a request uh, because uh, I'm just going to keep with the spirit of things. Yeehaw! Well, I hear that train coming. Coming around the bend And I ain't seen the sunshine Since I don't know when Well I'm stuck in Folsom prison and Time keeps dragging on And that train keeps moving On down to San Antonio Well when I was a baby My mama told me son 
Said always be a good boy, don't you ever play with guns But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die And when I hear that whistle blowing I hang my head and cry Yeehaw! Well, I bet them rich folks eating in a fancy dining car They're probably drinking coffee and they're smoking big cigars Well, I know I had it coming I know I can't be free nah. But those people keep moving and That's what tortures me If they freed me from this prison, if that railroad train was mine, I bet I'd move it on a little farther down the line, far from Folsom Prison, it's where I want to stay. When I let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. Johnny Cash for you guys, man. Uh, I ain't played that song in, in a long, long, long time. Uh, I just, uh, uh, that's the first request, by the way. That's the first, uh, first request I have done for a really long time. Um, I, I, nor, I, I try to stick to playing songs that I wrote. Um, uh, I ran into some trouble. Um, I ran into some trouble at a bar uh, that because uh, I was playing cover music and, and it, it was uh, ASCAP BMI crap and they they, uh, they shut the music down at the bar for a while after that and so I, I stopped playing I stopped playing cover music and then uh, then I became a member so um, I, I should be I should be allowed to play cover music now um, I think if you pay into that <laughs> Play that song you wrote, you know the one. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do right now. I, I just, I was just thinking that, man. You and me are thinking alike. Uh, saw some sunshine today. My pool was open. My pool was open soon. Um, who got rained out at work? Uh, glad for the something, bruh. Sorry, man. I was supposed to wear glasses, but I refused to. Um, this song here I, I wrote is called "Easier Said Than Done," and it's uh, I wrote this I wrote this song for I'm in a songwriter group in Athens, and uh, uh, this is this is one I wrote for for the songwriter group. There's not really a backstory to it. Um, I just I, I mean actually I can, there kind of is. Um, I'll tell you where I was at when I wrote it. Um, uh, I, I realized that I spent a lot of my time. A lot of the people that I loved have passed away, and I spent a lot of the time that I could have spent with them um, out running around doing doing the wrong kind of stuff. And uh, when I turned 45, I kind of realized that, you know, um, and, and became a grandpa myself, I realized how important those little, uh, th those little things are, you know, to, to um, I, I, now I go spend time with my grandson any time I can which uh, isn't as much as I'd like, but um, I, I realized the importance of, of spending time with the folks you love and, and because once they're gone, you, you never get them back. So uh, that, that's, that's kind of where the song's coming from. What's winter like in Australia? Oh, is, is, is Mal, uh, a friend of mine lives in, in Australia. His name's Mal Keeley, and, and I, I don't know if he's, if he's tuned in from, from Australia or not. It is kind of cool to see how far you reach out. So here it is. This song's called Easier Said Than Done. been millions of miles down this road to success 
more confident than ever that I'm lost. I should have taken the old man's advice years ago when he said, son, you got to learn when to slow down. But I was way too busy for that, dad. I was way too busy for that. It ain't that easy But it's easier said than done So I flew down that road Like my feet was a fire Burned down every bridge that I crossed Should have taken some time To sit and talk with the ones I loved Oh, they ran out of stories to tell But I was way too busy for that Grandpa, I was way Too busy for that And it ain't that easy But it's easier said than done And I always wonder why the good times are fleeting but the bad times hang around Now all I can do is sit and stare at every fork in the road. Wonder if I should turn around. I should have stopped right then and there. Pick up every piece as they drop. Get the fires under control. But I was way too busy for that, son. I was way too busy for that And it ain't that easy It's easier said than done It ain't that easy it ain't that easy It's easier said than done So Jeremy, it's Jeremy. I apologize, Jeremy, for uh, for thinking you were somebody else. But uh, if, if you're if you're if you're tuning in from Australia, y'all got big sharks down there on, on one coast, don't you? Uh, <laughs> everything. You, I mean, you got to be you got to be a bad man, jamma to live up in Australia. Everything uh, everything can kill you down there. <laughs> I, I I know there's spiders down there like this big around. Uh, what are they called? Uh, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're so, like camel spiders or something like that. Uh, or a huntsman, huntsman spiders. That's what they're called. The, the, them things are gigantic. Um, so I'm in a couple of different songwriter groups. Um, what's it say? Trapdoor spiders, I think, okay. I know uh, we have some pretty big spiders down on the river. I mean, they they get they get that big around down there, but um, they're they're fisher spiders. They actually uh, they actually sit on the on the riverbank and catch fish. Um, but we don't have no huntsman spiders. Them them things are gigantic.
So uh, this song here. Let's see what do I have? This song right here, I, I wrote. Um, I kind of wanted to write a. I wanted to write a moonshine song, man, because that, that seems to be popular um, in the folk scene anyway. Every every folk singer I know's got a got a moonshine song. So, uh, and I was fooling around with drop D. If you, if you noticed me tuning my guitar, it wasn't because my guitar was out of tune, because uh, the these two strings, the, the, the low string and the high string, are usually tuned to E. And what, all I did was I tuned them down to D. And then what it does, it gives you that. Hear how that, that deep sound. And, uh, but I was fooling around with that, with that tuning. And I, uh, I came up with this song. It's called Mama Rose Whiskey. And uh, the, the gist of the story is uh, Daddy's a moonshiner. And uh, he gets busted goes to prison and when uh, while he's in prison uh the mom gets tired of waiting and she's cheating on him when, when he gets out of prison he finds her cheating on him and uh he shoots her and he's trying to figure out what to do with the body and he's a moonshiner so he's like you know what i'll make whiskey out of her and so he puts her body in the still and makes uh, makes a batch of mama rose whiskey and uh i'm probably gonna mess this song up because i've never actually got through this but i, I just I, I really like the song, and uh, I think it's uh, something something people will be interested in. I'm hope, hope, hoping, so uh, hopefully I don't screw this up too bad, and I actually get through it tonight. Daddy got the water from the spring Prison didn't teach him a goddamn thing So we moved a little higher up the mountain A little bit deeper in the woods we Tried to stay sober on Sunday To give back to the Lord Daddy lit the fire around midnight The liquor ran clear till 6 a.m. We could see this fire up the mountain Smell that mash on the wind They say you can't make whiskey in the winter We'll be hiding in the pines come winter's end That's the way Everybody knows It's between my daddy and the mountain Lord and Mama Rose Mama Rose was a trailer park queen Firecracker mixed with gasoline to church on Sunday She's the devil and the Lord and in between Daddy met Mama on the corner He was 21, she was 17 Daddy went to prison for 16 years he tends to believe everything he hears Mama did her best to raise me But it's a rough old life for a mountain girl Mama's getting tired of waiting There's a stranger at the door with a string of pearls And that's the way it goes Everybody talks in the room it's between my mama and the mountain with the Lord and Daddy
Daddy came home a little early The smell on the air was a strange perfume Daddy took a pistol from his pocket Mama did her best to explain But you can hear that pistol from the bottom of the mountain And Mama took a ride on the midnight train Daddy disappeared into the mountain Threw that body in the still Daddy made a batch of Mama Rose whiskey That'll bring Bring you And that's the way it goes Nobody asks everybody knows It's between my daddy and the mountain Cause the Lord and Mama know It's between my daddy and the mountain Mama Rose. So uh, that, was a, that was a surprise ending there, uh, although I spoiled the surprise at the beginning. <laughs> uh, now I gotta tune this guitar right back up because that's the only song I play in Drop D. We have, we have some Canadians watching, too. I'm in Ontario, about an hour from Niagara Falls. Dude, not, Niagara Falls is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, can you imagine? Um, people go off of that sucker in barrels, man. And I don't know if they still are allowed. I don't think they were ever really, really allowed to do it. But uh, every once in a while, man, somebody pulls it off and they... they a lot of them's died, I think, doing it. I don't know if I don't know how many's actually survived, but could you imagine going off of Niagara Falls in a barrel? And, um, that is just crazy. Yeah. Everybody's talking about uh living in Australia and the, the big giant spiders. Um, and <laughs> let's see. Uh, Slimatic man, I think around seven years ago. Oh, wait, it, it's, uh, I can't read that here. See uh, Cindy. Uh, we have spiders around here, only the ones you can kill with our shoe. <laughs> If they're not too fast, um, because I have tried to kill spiders and they got away from me, and then and then you wonder did did I did I piss them off, man? Are they are they going to be hiding around? Wait till I go to sleep and 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 uh, crawl in my mouth or something. Oh, by the way, it's it's estimated that people eat people swallow seven spiders a year in their sleep. So if if, if the talk about spiders uh, isn't bad enough, you know, um, you guys have eaten them. And don't even know it. Let's see. So uh, this this next song, man, is uh, it's called the Down on Your Luck Blues, and and I know that's kind of funny because if you're if you got the blues, um, you're pretty much down on your luck, you know. That's the reason for the blues. So. Uh, but uh, this is about as hillbilly as the blues can get. I'm going to wait just a second to start here. It looks like, uh, did your memory card run out? No, oh, new battery. Oh, the battery ran out on, on camera two. You don't have to wait on me. I've got another camera. And another So uh, anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and play then, because Chase says he's got another camera, and I, I am lo I'm looking I'm looking at three different cameras here. And by the way, uh, fellas, uh, Chase and Eric are out here right now. Uh, you guys you guys put on one hell of a show here, um, and 
I just want you to know how much I appreciate all the effort that you put into this. And I hope, I hope everybody watching out there uh, realizes how much work goes into something like this. Uh, and think about that when you decide um, if you want to send a tip or not. Um, th this, ain't, this isn't just a click on your iPhone and, and, and go live. Uh, this is this is an elaborate this is an elaborate setup. There's three cameras. There's a whole room full of computers back there um, that that three different people are monitoring. Uh, one one guy's monitoring a sound soundboard with two different sound feeds, right? Um, so th this is a, quite a production. Not to mention all these lights and stage. Uh, what you can't see is this actually is a garage. Um, and just the other day, there was a Jeep in here torn, torn to pieces. Uh, the, the, uh, Chase was, was fixing a big uh, transmission leak. And today, it's a stage. So uh, j just to let you all know, there is a lot of work that goes into this. And I really appreciate it, and I hope you all do too. Down on your luck, blues. Be you 
free If it be thy will Don't you cut me down in my prime Well, all that's left My mother May not shimmer like gold But she screams my name From the mountain top let my story be told well, My soul is bound for heaven And my body was bound for the ground Nothing left to suffer from When they lay my body down. So, uh, yeah, I was supposed to put on my sunglasses for that song there, but I forgot. But uh, I think that's, I think that does it for my blues, my blues songs. I need to get me a drink of water here, and uh, I'm going to try to read up some of these comments because I've, I've been kind of neglecting them. Uh, they they going by so fast I can't I can't read them all. Um, you need water? Um, no, I I have some. I just I had to get me a drink. I prefer warm if you have if you have like some like not in the warm. fridge. But I got plenty here. <laughs> the, the only reason I, I don't get them out of the fridge because it gets my hands wet and then uh, Austin Riles I love it thank you very much man um, James Chippewa there's a reason I clicked this tonight yes hopefully I'm the reason <laughs> play it Mike yeah um, I hope you guys like that song man I, I, that's one of the uh that's one of the early songs I wrote in my songwriting career. Uh, I decided I wanted to kind of write a, a blues song. And that was, that was as close as I come to a blues. Um, it depends on where you play it, man. If you play it in the city, they call it country music. And if you play it in the country, they call it blues. So it's, it's a little bit of both. Um, I see anybody have Black Widows. Yes, as a matter of fact, there are Black Widows at my house. Um, there are black and brown ones, too. Uh, the, the black ones are the... Uh, the black ones with the little red hourglass on their belly, the females, they are bad. Um, and they hide out where you can't see them. High velocities tip $20. Thank you guys so much, man. Uh, um, I don't know what, I don't know if you guys realize uh, how much that actually means to us, uh, to me personally and, and to the folks here at GarageBand because, uh, like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of work that goes into this and, and, a lot of money and equipment sitting around here that these guys have shelled out of their own pockets to uh, to, to bring this to you, and um, it's it's really awesome that you guys um, care enough about it to uh, to send us a tip, man. I, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. Thanks, I really appreciate that. Let's see, C harp. Okay, this um, this next song um, I'm going to play for you is called "The King and Queen," and uh, this is another one I wrote for uh, one of the songwriter groups I was in. And uh, one of the criteria for writing the song is we had to write, we had to learn some new chords. So I started uh, learning ninths and thirteenths uh, and stuff like that. I think they're all ninths in this this particular song. Uh, no, there, there's a B minor six plus eleven, which is this chord. It's, they're really really pretty chords, and so uh, uh, I can't remember what the uh, what we, we the songwriter group they give you a word and then they give you a complicator on top of the word, uh, so. I 
I came up with this uh, song. It's called The King and Queen. Get my fingers set, right? When I was a child I was happy and wild With the whole world laid Thought I was a king, or maybe I was. Kings often fall, kingdoms will crumble, and the world continues to spin inside my head. I shouldn't have been so careless with my dreams Like they're easy come, easy go There's an ebb and flow So it seems <laughs> best I can But I got the whole world stacked on my shoulders I thought I was a king Well maybe I was So I'm learning to fall Happy like a child Cause I know someone will catch me Now the queen and always will be and I shouldn't place much weight upon my dreams cause they're easy come easy go with an ebb and flow so it seems and free with the weight of the world tucked away so neat like it's easy come easy go with an ebb and flow so it seems like it's easy come go there's an ebb and flow so it seems Hey, thanks everybody, man. All, I, I see a lot of y'all tipping and uh, and uh, saying that you followed me. I, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, I, I do. Um, if you guys, if you guys are on Facebook at all, um, 
check me out. I, I have I do a lot of a lot of stuff on Facebook. Um, I have a page. You can find my personal page. I think is the link to here. But from that, you can find Mike Ratliff music. Um, I post. I, I do a cooking show. I should tell you guys. Um, I haven't done it for a while. I've been really busy. Um, every vehicle in my at my house is broke down, and, and I, for the last three weeks, I've been doing nothing but working on cars. So I haven't been able to do my cooking show, but uh, it's called uh, it's called Dinner and a Song. I wrote my own theme song and everything. Um, and uh, but if you guys uh, go to that page and like it, what it is, I, I share my recipes. Uh, everybody who comes to my house um, really seems to love my cooking. And I try to I try to cook things from scratch as much as possible, but I also try to do it in a, a timely fashion, because I, I mean, unless unless I'm cooking a turkey or you know something that's going to take time no matter what, uh, I try to come up with the quickest, easiest way of making things from scratch because I despise I despise cooking things in the microwave. Um, I don't even like to thaw things out in the microwave, and I know a lot of a lot of folks nowadays. Um, depend on box food, you know, and, and microwave like macaroni and cheese and, and stuff. And, and the stuff is really not good for you, man. Not as, I mean, it would be better to eat a stick of, of homemade butter than, than to eat like crap from a microwave. So I decided that I was going to show everybody, you know, if, if I can cook, uh, I mean, I'm just a I'm just a dumb guitar player, man. If I can cook and, and make things taste good, y'all can do it too. So uh, check out uh, Dinner and a Song. Um, if, if you want to find most of the things I've done uh, is under the hashtag uh, Mike Needs Cookies. So if you want to if you want to look look on Facebook for anything I've done, I usually tag it with uh, hashtag Mike Mike Needs Cookies. So. Um, you should be able to find dinner and a song that way. You should be able to find my uh, my Facebook uh, music page that way. Um, so, and, and it's a real good time, man. We drink wine and we cook, and I play you guys some songs uh, while while the stuff's cooking. And every once in a while, I burn the food because I'm I'm too busy uh, playing guitar, <laughs> and we have to start all over. I try to keep it in an hour, hour and a half. Just dep it depends on how good the wine is and if we open a second bottle or not. So, uh, all right, I'm going to play you guys a song. Um, actually, I wrote this song probably... 16, 17 years ago. And when I did it, I was doing a concept album. I uh, smoked a lot of pot back then. <laughs> and uh, so um, I, I wrote this album and I was in the basement and I had, uh, I'll tell you how long ago it was. I had, uh, what was the program I was using to record with? Uh, I can't even re remember what, it was. it was like one of the very first home, home studio uh, um, programs that uh, you could get. Like you got it on a floppy disk, I think is how old it was. I noticed the, uh, the feed keeps flip, flipping to the uh, camera to a, a picture. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what's happening there. It's scaring me. I'm, I'm scared, guys. But uh, this this song I'm about to play for you guys is uh. <laughs> I, I'm just messing around, and you're like, ah. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I, don't, I thought I disappeared, man. I was like, no. am, did I vanish to? They banished me to an island. We're digging your vibe over here, Mike. We love this. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh. Austin, Austin Rouse says, I make homemade food all the time. I, I mean, there, there's nothing like it. The only thing I haven't really tackled is bread, and I think I really want to get into uh, bread making. Um, let's get that barbecue started. Yes, I, I hear you. Um, you, guys, if, you guys missed out, man. Uh, Chase, you, you guys all missed out not knowing me uh, last year. or It was about, about three years ago. Um, 
we did, when I first moved in on the river, uh, we built a big fire pit and cooked a, a lamb, the whole, whole lamb stuffed with mushrooms and potatoes and onions and celery and carrots and, and stuff full of butter and, and rosemary and thyme, salt and pepper. Man, it was, we cooked it for like 14 hours. And when I took it off there and I had, I had this big tray on top of my wagon on my lawnmower and I uh, backed the wagon into the garage, man, and, and uh, people just tore it up, man. That was some of the best, some of the best food I've ever had. Um, but I, I do stuff like, I make turtle soup and, and, uh, and alligator tacos and, and all kinds of stuff. My most successful cooking episode was uh, curry. Uh, I made uh, chicken curry. Anyway, this, this song here is, uh, it's called Plight of the Deer. And this song is, is it's about a family of deer um, that get hunted and shot in deer season. Um, and it's told in point of view of the deer. So uh, this, this is what the deer think about uh, people going out hunting. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, man. I still go hunting myself. Uh, and I, I, uh, I, uh, I'm an avid hunter, actually. I, I love to go hunting and fishing. But uh, I, I wanted to, um, I wanted to tell a story in the, the, the point of view of a deer. And it, like, like I was saying, this was a, this was a concept album. And when I was recording this, uh, I sat down with, all I had was a set of tom drums and a snare. And I said, the ki I didn't have a kick drum. And I said, the kick drum's just implied. And uh, I told my friends that, and they were like, dude, dude you, you done smoked yourself retarded. But uh, anyway. <laughs> um, so I decided when, when, I, when I, become a, I tried to become a folk singer, that I would pull this song back out and, and breathe a little new life into it. And uh, this, this is what I come up with.
So that, uh, the first time I ever told that story uh, about riding it in the point of view of a deer, a bunch of people laughed and they thought it was a joke. And uh, it's kind of funny because um, it wasn't long after that I played the song and they like, I brought the place to tears. Um, and the guy said, I don't know whether I laugh or cry, man. He was, he was drunk. You could, I made a video and you, you could hear him in the background uh, scream that out. And I, I just had to chuckle to myself. So I'm gonna uh, play you another. This one, uh, this one's uh, about getting older, man, and and um, and finding who you really are, man. I, I know a lot of people can, a lot of people find themselves when they're really young, and those are the people I like to call successful people um, because <laughs> they figured out uh, who they were really young and, and created a plan that that suited that. Uh, I s was not that kind of person. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't really until my grandson was born that I discovered really who I was, and uh, I always thought that I'd I would be old by the time I had grandkids. And now I realize uh, I've been a grandkid my whole entire life. Uh, I've, I've been a grand. I've been a grandpa my whole entire life, um, and I was just waiting for that day to to come. <laughs> But uh, I've learned some lessons over the years, and uh, this this song's called "Now I'm Found." Well, when I was a young boy, I was always down to tangle. I was oh so quick to stand up for belief. Until I lived a hundred years or more, bruised and battered, shattered on. It only took 40 trips around the sun To wind up right where I begun I once was lost But now I have found Not to let the blue Now I'm found. I look 
looking back, there is no question I was living in fast forward I was grabbing on and hanging by a thread And if this hard road doesn't kill me I'll be worn and torn and shivering in my bed Sometimes we only walk after we run We wind up right where we begun Well, I once was lost But now I have found Oh, not to let the blues hang around I once was lost Now I'm found Having trouble towing up the line Well this will pass in its own Sweet, sweet, sweet time Yeehaw! Well I'm gray-haired and older I might say a little wiser But I can't say that I don't make my mistakes when you've lived a hundred years or more The bumps and cuts and bruises are the stakes Well, I'll spend the rest of my trips around the sun Living, loving, laughing, having fun Yeah, I'll spend the rest of my trips around the sun Living, loving, laughing, having fun But I once was lost but now I have found oh not to let the blues hang around well I once was lost but now now I'm found Now I'm fine. I keep forgetting that, that y'all got moving lights, and uh, every once in a while one will go flying up beside me, man, and I'll think there's somebody in the room with me. I've been sitting here uh, pretty much uh, all by myself uh, tonight, and, uh, and every once in a while one of them lights will go by, and I'll be like, damn, who's in the room? What's going on? I thought I was by myself. <laughs> But in the same vein as the song I just played, uh, the next song is kind of about, uh, kind of about le um, learning lessons and um, actually uh, to live, live life, life lessons and uh, have the inability to uh, remember those lessons. <laughs> Ooh, looking forward to seeing bacon-wrapped shrimp on the next vlog. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I might make that happen. A side of poutine. Uh, I don't. I don't know. You know, that's one of the things I, I hear. Uh, I know that's a Canadian thing. Um, or may, I think it's actually a French thing. Um, I've never actually had poutine, and I would like to try it because I, I'm into trying weird stuff that that I've never. Um, I've never had. Um, we, me and my friend Travis, we went to this uh, African restaurant, and. Everybody looked at us like we were crazy because everybody, everybody who was in the restaurant was actually African immigrants. 
And this is kind of like, the, this is the food that they, they eat on a regular basis and it's not something that, that we are used to. And they just looked at us like we were crazy. And I was like, you know, um, so uh, they come over, a few of them come over and talk to us and like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, you know, uh, I don't really have the money to, to travel to these places, but if I find a restaurant that serves up traditional um, food from other places, I like to go there and, and, and order the weirdest thing on the menu because um, you only live once, man. And poutine seems, I mean, it, to me, um, to not not ever have had it, um, the, the, the word sounds funny, you know, so it, I automatically want to try it. Uh, what, what exactly is poutine? Um, if you could comment comment that, I would love to know exactly what poutine is. I know um, I, I got an idea of what it is, but I'll, I'll I'll read your comment here in a little bit and 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 see what poutine is and see if my idea was right. But uh, I don't don't need the harmonica for the next couple songs, so I'm going to take this thing off. Uh, I'll, I'll let the harmonica player know he can take a break for a while. Um, I'll just I'll do this this one solo. This song's called "Every Lesson I Ever Learned." If I thought for a second I could change for the better, I would. But lately, I've been thinking to myself, I wouldn't change if I could. Make me a better man for doing the things that I should. If I could do any better, you know, I probably would. I bite down on the bullet and I swallow a little more pride. And it tastes like the memories of all of the things that I tried. Would I be better off with my dreams left buried inside I could dig myself out of this hole or get buried alive and I can't just go on watching this world turn I'm on the wrong side of every bridge I ever burned for some reason I seem to piss away every dollar I ever I forgot to remember every lesson I ever learned I forgot to remember every lesson I ever learned I wish I could find a reason for believing in the man that I am But lately it's looking like I'm living in the land of the damned Well, God don't offer no wisdom to a man with no plan. So I'll face the struggle to keep my faith if I can. Looking back, I can see the reason for every line on my face. Every time I was forced to bite the bullet, I remember the taste. Looking ahead, I'll try to get a handle on the time that I'll wait. There's only two ways to go, a rock and a hard place. And I can't just go on watching this world turn. I'm on the wrong side of every bridge I ever burn. For some reason I seem to piss away. change for the better I would but lately I've been thinking to myself I wouldn't change if I could I wrote that one a long long time ago I wrote that one 
when I first uh, moved into, uh, I was sitting in my grandma's kitchen and uh, playing my guitar. And uh, I, I guess I should tell you when I say I was sitting in my grandma's kitchen. Um, I live in I live in my grandma and grandpa's old place. Uh, when they passed away, it went to my mom and my aunt, and I uh, I bought it from them. So uh, I now live in my grandparents' place. Uh, that was their uh, it was their retirement home. Uh, they they wanted to live down on the river, and I decided uh, she was a big country music fan. And I decided if I was going to play music in my grandma's kitchen, I better write me a country song. So that's that's where that one came from. Uh, this is this is a, this next song. What was to say? They make it different ways now: fries, cheese, curds, and gravy. Curry, poutine. Quit the food talk. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get. You don't have to go get food. DoorDash will bring it right to you, man. Don't don't leave. Just call call DoorDash and uh, and order you up some poutine. Well, I don't know what color is it, blue or is green. You put it on fries and it's some old poutine. Yeah. <laughs> I just made that up. I just wrote that song just now. Ruben's. Poutine. I keep seeing. Nobody has told me what poutine is yet. And uh, poutine is, is French fries with gravy and cheese curds on. Oh, okay. I thought poutine was like an additive you put on food. No. So poutine is a dish. I yep. uh, gotcha. I uh, now I really really want some. Um, because fries and gravy with cheese sounds really freaking good. I'm um, going to play a song um, I wrote. Uh, you know, I look back at all the live streams I've been part of, and I notice I say um a lot. So if, if, I, if I've said that for you guys too much tonight, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's buying time, you know, cause so my brain can catch up to uh, what I'm actually wanting to say. But this song here is called Believe in Me. I think I'm out of tune. Hang on just a sec. I, I tune this thing because I care. Yeah, I thought so. By the way, folks, this is a brand new guitar. Um, it's so new I haven't even paid for it yet. <laughs> My old guitar, um, something happened to it and I like to use this capo a lot. Not because I don't know uh, enough chords to play down the neck, but something about putting that capo on, it's, it tightens up the strings and it, it makes your guitar sound sound like different instruments or, you know, sound like you're tuned differently. And I, I really, uh, it changes up the, it changed up the sound. If I played everything out of the first, out of, without this capo, uh, it wouldn't sound nearly as cool. But uh, this song's called Believe in Me. Is it possible? 
impossible to breathe or steadily or steadily in me Stay strangers on the street. Why is it so dangerous to me? Well, I'm so misplaced, no place feels like home. But yet I wonder. I could sure use a hand God won't you send an angel Or some kind of sign Instead of testing my faith Or slapping my face Or building a mountain to climb I hope I can get by on my own Drift back to the place where I belong And I don't know how things have gone so far My God, I am wondering where you are. Do you still believe? Do you still believe? In me. So it looks like I'm getting down, uh, let's see, I got, I still got a few left, cool. I, uh, I don't even have any idea uh, how long this. I guess uh, it's been a couple hours already in it. I got about four, I got one, two, three, four, I got five songs left if you all want to stick around. Um, Actually, uh, I, I got four, uh, yeah, five, five songs left. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play them all. What the hell? What the hell? We, we don't care. Still got a lot of people. Still got a lot of folks out there watching, so, um, so I'm going to keep on going. And this next song I wrote, um, a good friend of mine from Charleston, West Virginia, he, he's like the best harmonica player I've ever met in my life. He's, uh, he's the band leader for the Mountain Stage Band. Um, I got the privilege to play this song for him and have him play harmonica with, 
with it. Um, and now every time I do it, I, I'm just like, man, why, what, why bother? Okay. Google says poutine was created in the French part of Quebec in the 1950s as a snack like nachos or pretzels. Every time I go to the U.S., I get sourdough pretzels. Yeah. And it is gravy and cheese and fries. Man, does that sound good or what? So, uh, but anyway, this... This song is, uh, there, there's some wisdom in this song if you, it's called uh, A New Leaf. If I had a new leaf to speak of, I'd turn it over. hold it close to me no matter what if my ship comes in today from out on the ocean the land of Goshen and my friends can share with me everything that I've got I can trip over a rabbit's foot when I throw my lucky coin in the well. And lucky to me is mythology as far as I can tell. When a penny for my thoughts ain't worth a nickel Sometimes you're the pickle And every now and then you are the jar Everything coming up lately may not be roses Turn up our noses to the straight and narrow path that's led us this far. There's no use in crying, cause you spilled some milk and washed it all down the drain. And the Joneses keep moving. Little too fast, and it's driving you insane. Throw my lucky coin in the well. And lucky to me is mythology as far as I can tell. So that was uh, New Leaf. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna play these last few uh, straight straight through um, because we are going on two and a half hours anyway. Changing the lights to golden hour, please. I did notice that uh, that it got really bright in here all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm digging the yellow. I'm looking in the back. That yellow looks pretty cool. It's not so ordinary. And uh, the this next song is called Ordinary World. And I wrote this song. Um, I used to I used to get into drugs a lot, man, and um, and that was a big muse for me uh, as a songwriter. I thought I thought I had to be I had to be messed up, you know, in order to write songs. And that, um, so I, I started phasing that out of my life. And when I finally, uh, when I finally did quit everything, um, I did, I got to a point where I couldn't write and I went, I went probably six, seven months and never wrote a single song. And, and I, I thought, um, uh, maybe I'm done, you know? Um, but then, uh, I was sitting on the porch and uh, started playing this lick on my guitar. And the words just came pouring out. And um, because, uh, you know, after, after being stoned for so long, um, not being stoned seems so ordinary. And this song, this song just poured out. It's called Ordinary World. Sorry, I had a frog in my throat there, man. I'm a smoker, and it's been it's been quite a while since I had a cigarette. And I, I left my cigarettes who knows where. I think I put them in the car. So anyway, I'm going to try that again. This song is called Ordinary World. succeed but I haven't yet it's an ordinary world are we sinners or just sinning depends on your belief circles every 60 seconds take some time to breathe in the air, take someone's hand, learn to share with your fellow man, this ordinary world. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so you only got yourself to blame. Make something extraordinary. the candle burning like the other end I hold it up for all to use and call myself your friend keep me close to your heart till it's time to fall apart 
It's not awesome. Thank you, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, I got three more songs to play for you guys, um, and uh, the, the the next one I'm going to play for you, um, if I can fit the words up here. The next one I'm going to play for you, I wrote, um, I wrote about uh, a picture book that my mom has, and how we, uh, we, we have family dinners um, on Sunday, Saturdays or Sundays, whenever everybody can squeeze it into their schedule, but we try to do that once or twice a month anyway, because um, like I said, I'm getting older and we're all realizing how important family. Lee J. Ratliff, man, appreciate it. Um, I, I really thank you. Uh, I can't believe you're staying up this late. To, uh, I figured you had to be in, in work early in the morning. Um, thank you for all, all everybody's uh, telling me a good job and uh, they uh, really appreciate uh, that they really enjoy my music. Um, that's what, that's what, that's why I do this, man, is uh, to, to share my, uh, share my words with with y'all and, and hopefully I can bring a little bit of joy to your life. I hope I can bring a fraction of the joy to your life that it brings to my life to, to be here, up here doing this because if I could just give you a fraction of that, um, it would be quite a bit because this is the, one of the one of the few places on earth that I actually feel happy is sitting behind a guitar, singing words that I've made up. I think Todd Snyder said it. Um, he, uh, he wants to share his opinions through song with you, uh, not because he thinks they're smart, but because they rhyme. <laughs> This song's called uh, Picture Book. I need, actually, I, I, I gotta get it. This is the, the only song I play with a pick. So uh, be careful back there, Eric. It might, I, 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 we didn't check it with a pick, so I don't know how it's going. This is the only song I use a pick on. Remember 
that scared little girl Wondering if she's prepared To take on the world Ready or not, here I Vacations and birthdays and regular living as if to be written in stone. It's a string of events so we won't forget to measure how much we have grown. What the pictures don't show. the lessons you share the wisdom and grace to take on the wares ready or not here I come good to teach me to walk If you go looking each 
Let's see. Any... Um, you can try you, if, any request. You can uh, any request that you can do for us. You can try. Um, I don't know a lot of cover songs. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll give it a shot if I if it's something I might know. Um, but I, I got I got two more songs. Thanks for playing this amazing music, Austin. Man, I, I uh, that means a lot to me, man. I really appreciate that. Um, it's it takes a lot of it takes a lot of uh, courage to write music and and play it for people, you know. And the fact that somebody enjoyed it um, really makes my night. I'll tell you that. Have I played your favorite song? Um, I have not, Logan. Um, you talking about uh, another day? I'll. Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, um, I think I have it in here. Yeah, I do. Jolene by Dolly Parton. I'll tell you what. Um, I had a request. I, like I said before, I don't normally do requests, but uh, I, I, I'm going to. Uh, I got, I got a song that I wanted to play at the end. I'll wait and play that one. But uh, I'll, I'll do this request for you. I'll tell you. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'm going to do your request. <laughs> Just because I don't think I can do it. <laughs> now, if I get some of the words wrong, uh, I'm sorry. I'm reading it from a wee little screen right here because I don't know all the words to Jolene. Got me. It's one I never played before. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my money. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please. Jolene, Jolene, please don't take him just because you can. Your beauty is beyond compare. Flaming locks of auburn hair with ivory skin and eyes of emerald green. Your smile is like a breath of spring. Your voice is soft like summer rain and I cannot compete. I can 
never love again He's the only one for me to Had to have this talk with you My happiness depends on you And whatever you decide to do, Joe him just because you can all right so uh, we got a we got a, uh, a a new record for me that's two requests in one night and that one there I didn't even know I just looked up the words and luckily I had the chords written up there uh, but I, I got one more uh, request and this is actually this is the first time uh, a song that I've written has been requested and I, I don't blame anybody for not requesting my songs because I know a lot of y'all have never heard my songs. So, uh, but next time I expect y'all to, to, but uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I got two songs I'm going to do for you and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to end tonight. And uh, the first song I'm going to do for you is, uh, I'm going to play this for my son. Um, and this will be the first time I've done this song completely solo. I usually only play this song when I have a picker with me that can pick a, uh, pick a melody. But uh, it's called Another Day. Let me, let me use the pick on this. Maybe a little sun on my face Maybe a little rain on my shoulder Oh Lord, nothing I can do Oh Lord, nothing I can do Nothing Gonna see my face again. Help me. Can't you see my face? Troubled lay to waste my soul. Hey. face again Stowed away in a cabin in the woods Stowed away like an old suitcase Like a cabin in the woods Can't find a better place to be How it really is Ain't the way my mama told me Way that it really is Ain't the way my mama told me Got the wind blowing at my back 
broken Headed down to the railroad track Gonna jump on the next freight train Never gotta see this place again That was for my son and my grandson that was called another day and uh, I think it's time to it's time to wrap it up folks and I, I really appreciate y'all sticking with me uh, throughout this whole night um, I think we're we're probably yeah we are going on we are going on three hours so uh, I got grooves worn in my thing in my fingers but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this song with um, my favorite band I mean if you can't you probably haven't seen my socks but Check out them socks. My favorite band on earth is the Grateful Dead. And um, one of my favorite songs by the Grateful Dead would be Ripple. And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out tonight uh, with the song. Um, I'm sending this song out to a friend of mine in Florida. Um, every time I play this song and he's around, he, he's, all, he's all crippled up, man. And he gets up and dances anyway um, whenever I play this song. So... Here it goes. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, man. And thanks, everybody. Thanks, Lee J, for your tip. Uh, thanks, everybody who's tipped. And even, even you know, if you shared this video, I, I thank you, man. If you commented on this video, if you just tuned in and had it playing in the background while you was doing your dishes or whatever, I thank you guys, too. Because, I mean, honestly, um, without, without people who enjoy live music, there would be no need to play live music. Um, so... Uh, keep on, keep on uh, supporting your your local bands. Um, you know, buy their album, buy their T-shirt. Um, send them tips on their live feeds um, because uh, a lot of a lot of times uh, somebody just wants to you know they just want to express themselves and for to somebody in a way that's not necessarily talking because I have a hard time talking to people, but if I write it in a song, I can tell you guys anything. Um, but then get th from the bottom of my heart, man, Mike Ratliff music and uh, the folks at Grand's band here. We thank you guys so much um, for tuning in. And, uh, but uh, here we go. This, this will be my last song for tonight. It's called ripple and it's, it's a grateful dead team. <laughs> If my words did glow With the gold of sunshine And my tunes were played On a harp unstrung Would you hear my voice Come through the music Would you hold it near as it were your own, it's a hand-me-down The thoughts are broken Perhaps they're better left unsung Well, I don't know I don't really care Let there be song If your cup be empty, if your cup is full, may it be again, let it be known. There is a fountain that was not made by the hands of men. No simple highway between the dawn and the dark of night. And if you go 
no one may follow that path is for your steps alone Thanks, everybody, man. Thank, thank you guys so much for tuning in um, and making this, uh, this a successful night. Um, uh, check me out, um, Mike Ratliff Music on Facebook, Mike Ratliff Music on uh, Instagram, uh, Mike Ratliff Music on TikTok. If you all want to email me, uh, um, Mike Ratliff Music at Yahoo. Um, I, got, I have an album coming up, um, so if you follow me on Facebook, um, you guys will be the first to know when it's done. Um, I'm currently in the studio as we speak, uh, recording it. Um, so uh, thanks again, man, for, for, uh, for showing up and uh, tuning in. Dude. Mike. Yes. You have just, like, Put me in the ultimate chill. Right on. Like, not even joking. I'm in the, I'm like, just, I'm in the ultimate chill. I've had a couple of brewskis over here with the boys. Hell yeah. And like, the only thing we're missing is a campfire. Good stuff, Mike, well, man. We can burn this guitar, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, don't do that. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions here. Nah, uh, Mike, we appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for coming out and and uh, strumming for us this evening. Loved your music. Uh, I remember particularly there was a couple of songs there. I was like, dang, I really like that chord progression you were playing. Thanks for having me, man. This, this was awesome. Uh, you, guys, you guys know how to make a guy uh, feel welcome. Hell yeah, man. Well, anytime, you're welcome back here. I'd, I think I could speak for all of us when I say it's really nice to just kind of have a relaxing tone come from that side of the room sometimes and Tonight was just that. Very good. Very awesome. Make sure you guys go follow Mike on all his social medias, as he mentioned there, and, and his email if you wanted to send him an email. Adam's going to push the button right now that's going to inject his Facebook link into the chat, so make sure you go to his page and give him a like. Oh, and his Instagram and his TikTok. Dude, you have TikTok? I don't even have TikTok. Hmm. Well, I do, but I don't really use it. I did it really just to promote my cooking show. <laughs> nice. By the way... We're going to have to hold you to uh, a barbecue, so let's get Mike back. But pre-show, we're going to be doing a barbecue instead of an interview. You know, I could make, I could make this whole thing work with a grill and, and, 
barbecue right here in your garage, you know? We'll just grill in the garage? No, nah, I mean, I don't care. Or, oh, you mean <laughs> we could open the door up and grill out there, you know? I, I, I'm, I'm 100% game. I mean, we were talking about poutine and uh, bacon-wrapped shrimp. Going to be trying that in one of the vlogs soon for sure. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, literally, I think we might have to go to Taco Bell right now for something, get some food. I, I haven't had dinner. I, I purposely don't eat before a show because uh, when I play my harmonica, uh, I get food particles in them. So um, I was right there with you guys. I was, I was making myself hungry. Fair point. Don't eat before you play harmonica. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you come back tomorrow night because at 10 o'clock we will be featuring Project Rewind. And, uh, yeah, don't love forget to stick around for the raid. Mike loves you. We love you. Make sure you guys stay good to each other. We'll see you back here tomorrow night on GarageBands Live. Adios.